Welcome to Credit 2, Day 4. We're going to go over using the Google Drive. Um, now, if you're already in Gmail, uh, you can get there by clicking in this little uh, Google Apps button up in the corner, and that'll open up all your options here. And you see Google Drive is one of those options. And if you don't see what you're looking for, there's even more. Um, and if you aren't already logged into a Google application, all you need to do is just type in Google Drive in any uh, search engine, and it pops up Google Drive. That's the first option there. So you'll log into Google Drive using your uh, Google account information. And so it's very important that you remember to write down that password or make sure it's a password you're going to remember. So we go to Google Drive here, and uh, I've already got some things stored here on Google Drive. And Google Drive works just like a uh, flash drive. So if you want to, you so if you want to, you can just uh, minimize that screen a little bit and then just drag and drop stuff and it will just upload it. It's as simple as that. Um, and they're asking me if I want to locate it so I could you could create files within this if you want to. You can right click, create a new folder, and then uh, organize things that way. So for instance, if I wanted to have uh, one place to put my pictures in, I just create a pictures folder, and I can just, again, drag and drop stuff directly into that folder. Um, and it makes it very, very easy. So you use Google Drive just the way you'd use a flash drive. And since we're already becoming experts at using your flash drive, um, this will hopefully just be an extension of that and make it really easy. Another option you have here, once stuff is in your Google Drive, is to share it. All you need to do in order to share it is to select whatever it is you want to share and then click on the share button, which looks like a person with a plus next to them. You enter their email address here or their name if they're already one of your contacts, and then it will send them uh, the picture. So for instance, it tells you who it's already shared with, and then if you want to add somebody else, let's say I want to uh, send it to myself, I'm going to send it to uh, P. McMahon at uh, DesertSandsHighSchool.com, it's, oh, it's going to give me options here, do I want them to be able to edit it, comment it, or just view on it? Uh, so this is also useful if you want people to, be able to look at something but not edit it because if they can edit it they can delete it or do something to it so uh, you might want to mess with their uh, their settings before you send stuff to people and then all you do is click send are you sure okay now they're asking you um, anyone who has this information will have access to it yeah I'm sure that's okay and it sends it it sh it'll share that with me then what that would look like is if I were to actually go into my uh, my website or sorry my outlook for uh, desert sands is look I sent myself a picture I can click open and view the picture now I'm actually viewing this picture um, as it was shared as it was stored on uh, the Google Drive and then shared with me so Google Drives is super easy to use um, it's just like a flash drive and it's a convenient way to keep stuff remotely and then it's also a really makes it really easy to share stuff via email um, so one of your assignments is actually to share a picture with uh, your teacher so you're going to need to uh, upload something to your Google Drive and then uh, share it with your teacher as one of your projects uh, in order to figure that out. But we've just walked through that, so hopefully that's going to be easy for you. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hope that helped, and uh, good luck with the class.